Ladies, times may be tight, but that doesn't mean you can't look fabulous. I'm back and it's my most ambitious roadshow ever as I go on tour to bring you show-stopping looks on my smallest budget yet. That is a bargain. From supermarket chic to the best of the high street, this time it's all about getting the look Morning. for less. Do you like that? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's only 25 quid. And to prove it, I'll be transforming style-challenged, budget-conscious ladies. That's lovely. lovely. By putting together sensational looks for 100 quid. 17 quid for the frock. No. Are you joking? I'll be showing you how to create your own unique accessories with some clever customising. These sheets come in at £2.20. The waistband has gone a bit baggy. I need to keep to pull them up. And it's the return of the road testers who'll be putting the latest high street knockoffs of designer looks through their fashion paces. £14.99. That's so cheap. And, of course, there's a catwalk showdown, but this time there's a twist. I'll be starting up two outfits, one for around 250 quid, and the other, well, I've only got around 50 pounds. Will I pull it off? It comes down to you, the voting audience. So sit back and relax. I've done all the hard work for you. This is Gox Clothes Roadshow. Get the look for less. <laughs> Roadshow tour in a city known for its sassy style, and that's Liverpool. I'm bringing my look for less catwalk challenge right into the heart of the city, and when it comes to looking good, Liverpool lasses lead the way. I think Liverpool girls are the most fashionable girls in the country. We just like to take pride in what we wear. All oh, Scouse girls are always dressed well. <laughs> and they're not only fashion savvy, but budget conscious too. I like a bargain that doesn't look like a bargain. Always feel for a bargain. <laughs> and in these tough times, we're all on the lookout for a great deal. But I know it's not just about the price. You lot want to look fabulous too. So I've created a personal shopping space and with a little bit of gog know-how, I'm going to show you how to get amazing looks for less. I'll be finding out what you really think when you come face to face with those fashion fears. And first up, three lovely liver birds. Hi, girls. Hello. Hello. Meet Rachel, Michelle, and Julia, who have all lost weight but are still wearing the same baggy old clothes. We met initially through um, Weight Watchers um, and boot camp. It's 45 minutes of pain in the mud, usually in the rain. <laughs> oh, I might throw up on you. If we're at boot camp, we're in leggings and a t-shirt and looking really sweaty and we all look the same. And if we go out on a night out, it's always the same clothes, which is jeans and a top. You look like you're enjoying yourselves. That'd be good. Oh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> But are they ready for a gocking of a lifetime? It's exciting and you know what, it's, it's an amazing opportunity and people are so jealous, which is brilliant. No one's ever jealous of me and they are now. It's lovely. I'm determined to turn these scruffy slimmers into Liverpool lovelies with fab looks for under 100 quid. First, it's time to dish the dirt on each other's sartorial shortcomings. Girls, what do you think of our gorgeous Julia's outfit? You look nice, but you're not making the most of yourself. Okay. No. Yeah. Do you feel like you're making the most of yourself? No, not at all. Right, so what do we think about Rachel, then? She hasn't got a hoodie on. <laughs> oh, so you normally wear a hoodie? Yeah. yeah. Are you a bit of a sportswear junkie? I am a bit, actually. Michelle always looks lovely, whatever she puts on. However, if she stood up, her pants will fall down. <laughs> <laughs> and if I could wave the magic fairy gok wand, all right, in the air now, what would you want to look like? Sexy, but grown up at the same time. I don't want to feel that I'm covering myself up all the time. I don't want to expose myself either. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling that to the wrong person, Michelle. <laughs> Just telling you now. <laughs> I'm determined to take on three hard-working Liverpool lovelies from drab to fab. First up, it's size 14, mum of two, Rachel. 
I wouldn't say I was a fashion disaster. Well, people may disagree with me. In my office, we have dress down day, which is the most stressful day of the week for me. I had this really baggy, stripy little Asda number, and my seven-year-old niece said to me, um, have you just thrown that on? That kind of like gives you a bit of an idea that you, you haven't got a clue. Well, if a seven-year-old thinks so, it's time for a whole new look. You are the Jersey girl, it's all about sportswear, it's jeans like the other girls, but it's just, it's non-feminine, non-sexy, am I right? Yeah. OK, so is there anything which stands out to you here? I really like animal print. Right. But sometimes it's knowing... How to how do it. How to do it. Yeah. Because there is a right and a wrong. Absolutely. Rachel is very hoodies and jeans girl, yeah. isn't she? Oh, it's either that or boot camp stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Which, again, is hoodies and trainers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just change the jeans. <laughs> Working out pants. Well, listen, can I try an outfit, then? Yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw you in the deep end and maybe look at bright colour and skirt. And on top of that, why don't we clash the hell out of it and go for something really, really big on trend, which is going to be quite outrageous. God, you, what size do you wear? Uh, 14 on the bottom. <laughs> I don't think you're wearing the right sizes, funnily enough. Yeah. Do you like the colours together? I do. I would never pick them myself and I would never put animal print with them. Does it feel nice? It does feel nice, lovely. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, come on then. Come and show them. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That looks lovely. Rachel, your waist is about that big. I know. Do you love it? It looks... It's, it's so stunning. girly. Yeah. It's just lovely. Give it a little twirl. Yeah. Fits perfectly. So, colour blocking, massive trend, and then colour and print blocking with the leopard print as well. I think it's stunning on you. I think it's fun. Shows off your figure. Yeah. It looks like it's totally easy to wear. Yeah. yeah. And I would never in a million years pick this. No. No. Never. But you've got just... With the belt and the shoes, yeah. it's just enough of the, of the animal print. And the thick black tights. Absolutely stunning and under 90 quid. When's the last time you wore a dress? Um, start of the year. Start of the year? Okay, mm -hmm. so a good eight months. Yeah. A good eight months. Right, wh whack that into the change room. Let's have a look at that one on, my darling. Come on, gorgeous. Look at her. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. Very sexy. Yeah, it is. Looks lovely. It's like really fun and flirty. Is this anything like you would have seen our gorgeous Rachel in before? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like to see Rachel in more of this kind of gear? Yes. Why? Because you're tiny and you don't get to see it. It's lovely. You look stunning. You do. do you know, I like it because it's actually really conservative. Because it's all on, all black, but then you've got a little bit of fun of the stars. Stars, massive print this season. Now, clothing, to feel relaxed, hasn't always got to be your sweatshirts and your jeans and your trainers. It can be as easy as this as well. I mean, change the shoes for some ballet pumps and you can wear this all day long. What about if I said to you this dress was 70 quid, but you loved it? Would you, would you spend 70 quid on it? Possibly would, yeah. Yeah. What about 17 quid? No. Are you joking? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Is it? £17 oh, I want, I want one. for this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And look, 17 quid for the frock. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Cheapest Unbelievable. fish fingers. Cheapest, Cheapest fish, fish fingers. fingers yeah. Oh, we love that. We love that. So, yeah, so for 17 quid, you can look <laughs> this gorgeous. Throw in some accessories. And it's kind of made, isn't it? It's not yeah. only have you sorted out your casual stuff, but you've sorted out your wallet at the same time. Top to toe chic for an amazing £52. One down, two to go. Fashion! I'm touring the country with my first ever Look For Less Catwalk Roadshow. And first stop, it's Liverpool. My challenge is to create two outfits, one coming in at around 250 quid and the other coming in around 50 quid. But I'm going to start with my 250 budget. Now, the pencil skirt is an absolute classic and one of this season's sexiest styles. Team with knee-high boots and a glossy shirt for a timeless look that works on absolutely everyone. 
even though I adore this on Sophie, I am now going to do another look to go down the runway. The whole outfit coming in at around £50. The first thing is, obviously, we need the pencil skirt. We're going to go for this one. So, Didi, come in, my darling. Let's fit this one straight away. I love this tweed. Right, OK, so we're going to go for a blouse now. So, of course, what we want to do is keep it looking a bit vintage. So I want some movement. And we're kind of mixing two trends at the same time because blouses and that kind of femininity is another massive trend. But I love this one. And of course, we're going to tuck it in because we don't want to lose a silhouette. Pencil skirt is all about the silhouette. It's all about showing off the waist, showing off the hips and extending you. So if you have this hanging out, you're going to miss all of that stuff. You've got to tuck it in. You wouldn't really think about putting a navy blue with a tweed and instantly that gives me a whole juxtaposition, a story in itself. But what's really, really clever about this is you've got this beige stripe going through which marries in the skirt. But then on top of that, I've got a brand new story happening, which are these red dots. It's giving me an accent colour. So I know that I can now start matching up the accessories with that red and it will start building up the story for me. So these shoes, believe it or not, £14. They are obviously a stiletto. They're marrying in the red. They've got a peep toe. They have vintage written all over them. Also going to add in my trusty shoulder pads. I've gone for raglan ones. These are really, really heavy ones because I want a step on the shoulder just here. And if you don't have shoulder pads in your wardrobe at home at the moment, then you need to get shopping. This outfit comes in at a gorgeous £56.99. But to make it catwalk ready, I've raided the accessories covered. A few retro twists and the vintage vibe is complete. Morning. Hi, would you like to shop? Thank you. And if you want to get designer looks at bargain prices... 20, 30, 46 quid. Un B. It couldn't be easier. You just have to spread your shopping net wider. Morning. Morning. How old are you? You tell me. You know. How old? Twenty-one. Don't You're say that. Then. Sixty-four. Supermarkets and low-cost out-of-town stores are jam-packed with basics. Fourteen pounds. But with so much choice, you do have to shop smart. When you're shopping from a supermarket, what you're looking for is fabric. And this denim skirt shows me instantly that it's a very good fabric. Also, I know that this denim has been washed because the pocket has turned slightly light blue. That basically means when you wash it in your washing machine at home, it's not going to shrink. So, ladies, remember there's bags of fantastic fashion in the shops right now at these amazing prices. Bye, girls. Bye. OK, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Getting your hands on the latest catwalk trends has never been easier, but with all the cheap versions of designer gear out there, which knockoff is best? Well, don't you worry, because my road testers will find out for you. Coloured skinny jeans are the number one fashion statement this season, and the celebrities are sporting designer ones with top names like J Brand coming in at around 200 quid. But there's no need to dish out that kind of dosh. I've called in my crack team of road testers to try out five of the hottest high street versions just for you. These five firm friends from Liverpool are aged between 22 and 33 and are sizes 8 to 16. And these girls know exactly what they like. My style's quite... Colourful, quite funky. I love loads of bright colours and things like that. I love trying new styles, experimenting with new looks. Um, I just love fashion all around. I love the ability that you can dress up as someone new every day. We're really quite opinionated people, so, um, yeah, I don't think you're going to be hearing all nice, lovely things from us, let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> now, I've picked out five of the best coloured jeans around. They all come in at under 45 quid, but our ladies don't know which brand they're wearing or how much they cost. And this blind test is no fashion walkover. It's a big, fat, muddy assault course. The best way to find out if these jeans have got the stretch, durability and comfort factor. Well, that's kind of what I told the girls. Go! What? But after a whole lot of bending, stretching, squatting and scrabbling, there's a theme developing. <laughs> These slacks are slacking. 
I'm just finding myself having to hike them up a couple of times, but like to be fair, you'd expect that. The waistband has gone a bit baggy and I keep having to pull them up. But they're definitely nowhere near the worst. No, they're definitely not, are they? Fiona's green jeans from m and look like they're on the slide. And Kelly's skinnies from Dorothy Perkins may look hot, but she's not happy. I spent most of my time with my fingers in the in the belt loops, hiking them up every five minutes. Get your backside down, you! No pain, no gain, girls. Get those booties in the air. Get your backside up! Get going, man! Everyone's getting yeah, beasted around the course. Get your up. Were the jeans beauties? Um, they're staying up quite well, but there's not a lot of stretching them, so I can't stretch my legs too far. They've been squatting and bending and climbing, and yeah, I can't fault them. They've been really good, really comfortable. After all the blood, sweat, and tears, it's time to come clean. These <laughs> soiled pants are getting the wash test. Can they keep their colour and their shape? Jeans. Remember, they have no clue how much they cost or where they're from. They fared terrible on the assault course. They fell down the whole time. For that reason, I give these an unfortunate four. I absolutely love them, so for that reason, I am going to give them a seven. I might have to hook them up a little bit through the challenge, but they were really, really good. So for that reason, I'm going to give them an eight and they were very secure on the assault course, so I was very happy with them. And for that reason, I'm giving mine an eight. I don't normally like skinny jeans because they're not that comfortable, but these are amazing, and the color is actually growing on me as well. And for that reason, I give them a nine. A couple of eights there, but with a whopping nine. Steps 14.99 pink jeans from H&M are the winners. It's time to tell the girls how much their jeans cost and where they're from. 30 quid. I wouldn't pay that for these. I don't think I'd pay 10 quid for these. Good old Primark. I'd definitely pay £12 for them. I'd definitely go and buy them. 40 quid for these jeans is really good for me because I think the material's really nice, so I would pay a bit extra. I wouldn't normally think to go to Marks and Spencers for a coloured pair of jeans, but no, I love them. My jeans are from H&M and they cost £14.99. That's so cheap. And there you have it. That's proof you can sizzle and shine in the latest trends without breaking the bag. This week I'm helping three Liverpool lasses who've all worked really hard to lose weight but are still hanging out in their old baggy clothes. I've already sorted out a new look for Rachel. Oh my goodness. That looks lovely. And now it's Michelle's turn. It makes me feel like a ball on legs. Girlfriend's clearly not happy with her current wardrobe. What part of your body do you maybe dislike the most? My middle. Okay, your middle bit. Okay, so when yeah. you're wearing a dress, are you feeling like you're exposing this because you're dressing that part? Brilliant. Yeah. Since I've lost a lot of weight, I can now fit into smaller sizes than I used to be, but I, I will play it safe and, and buy the size that I previously was. Yeah. I'd like to look good, dare I say it, even sexy. Michelle does say that if clothes are too tight, they're uncomfortable, but they're not too tight, they just fit fitted. Yeah, she's just getting used to losing weight. It's got a jersey, it's like a wrap dress, but it's not. It's got loads of detailing just here. It's gonna squeeze around your body, whether we like it or not. I think when Michelle goes shopping, when she's, what she said to us is that it's a nightmare for her, isn't it? If yeah, she's sort it's of... not an enjoyable experience. No. There are women out there who can walk into any shop and pick items off the rail, accessories to go with it, and put it together and look like they've stepped off the catwalk. If I tried it, I'd look up like I fell out of a charity bin. Come on then, Michelle. 
Right, Mike. Ooh. Look at this already. Let's have a little look. Oh, she looks okay. lovely. This dress, obviously, the first thing it's going to do is show off your bangers, of course. It's going to show off the waistline. It's going to show off your bum. It's really going to show off your silhouette. All right, so if you're used to a world of sweats, T-shirts and jeans, this is going to be a bit of a shock, right? Yeah. Like, what do you think first, girls? Looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, right. I like this bit. Yeah. I'm already thinking, ooh, legs. You have got the best pair of cracking legs mm. in this one mile radius. These legs are phenomenal. <laughs> Look what you're hiding. She looks amazing. She Doesn't looks she? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. You have got a really, really good figure. This time, we are going to try a skirt on. All right? And we're going to do a little blouse as well. And we're going to do not only print, but we're also going to do colour. Ooh, you're scaring me. All right, absolutely. <laughs> we're going to go for it. Are you nervous, Michelle? Yes. Why? I don't like it. <laughs> OK, let's get rid of some of this a second. With a few simple tweaks, this is how you show off Michelle's sexy curves. Now tell me what you think about it. I don't mind it now. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the shape of the whole yeah. thing. Ah! <laughs> Double high five. <laughs> Double high five. You like the shape. Yes. Why? What's happened? Because I have one. There's loads of texture, there's loads of colour, and what it's doing is really showing off your silhouette. So now I'm going to do another little outfit, a little bit controversially. We've got wide leg palazzo pants in a colour, OK? We've got cute little vest, OK? And we've got a printed kimono. Let's tuck that top in properly, then. Let's put that one on there. Be back in. Is this anything that you would have gone for? No. No? Definitely not. I think this is a great safe alternative to you wearing dresses, because I can still see your silhouette. I think you look very, very elegant. But also, I think it's a little... I mean, it's pushing you. Girls, what do you think? Looks lovely. Yeah. Your bum looks tiny. You've got a tiny <laughs> you really have. Okay. <laughs> it's lovely, Michelle. It is really lovely. It is lovely. It is such a massive throw from the jeans and T-shirts. Yeah, it is, definitely. But a lot better. Finally, Michelle is wearing clothes that actually fit. Two down, one to go. Fashion! One of the reasons why designer clothes are so expensive is the handy work that goes into making them. So I want to show you that you don't need to spend a load of money to update your wardrobe and to make something unique. The secret is to search out your local haberdashery shop for amazing ideas and great inspiration. My theory behind haberdashery is that you've got to give it a go and you aren't always going to get it right. Sometimes it's going to look absolutely amazing, sometimes it will look really chintzy and hideous, but unless you give it a go, you won't really know. But the big thing is, don't throw loads of money at it. Keep it as cheap as possible, be really inventive and really, really enjoy it. And to prove it, I'm going to transform these plain platform shoes into this season's hottest party heels using glitter fabric, cling film and sticky tape. So I've researched where the high street buy their materials to embellish shoes and there's a company which makes this material. Now these sheets come in at £2.20 a sheet. Instead of paying for someone to make it for you, why not go straight to the supplier, buy the materials and customise your own shoes? Because all I want to do is cover the heel with this gold glitter and make them into proper party shoes. The first thing to do is to cover the healing cling film to make a template for your glitter fabric. Now, I learnt how to do this from an amazing seamstress who learnt it from a drag queen, which means I love this even more because it's just so theatrical. Next, cover the heel with strips of sticky tape. Right, so now making sure that the entire heel is covered, I'm now going to draw around my outline. By marking a border all the way around the heel, this will now act as your pattern, enabling you to cut exactly the right shape of fabric. There we go, that's the pattern drawn. Now, I'm going to take off the shell. And I'm literally just going to score down the back of the shoe, open it up, and then peel it off. Now cut out the pattern and use it as a stencil to draw onto your glitter fabric. Cut out the material and check it fits. All I'm doing now is just shaping this up a little bit. 
before I commit with the glue. Then simply use leather adhesive to stick to the heel. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit and let it go a little bit tacky. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on. Don't be worried if you go over a little bit like that edge just there, because I can trim that. Tie elastic round the heel to hold the fabric in place while it dries. Give that about five minutes to ten minutes. And there we have it. One on-trend glitter embellished heel on a pair of shoes that were probably gone out to the shoe graveyard. Not bad for a little bit of time and a couple of quid. Fashion. It's time to get my second look ready for the catwalk showdown, where I'll be pitting high street looks around the £250 mark against my 50 quid versions. Brightly coloured evening dresses are a glamorous look for any night out. If you've got around 250 to spend, you can get your hands on this beautiful ensemble. This emerald dress with gorgeous gold accessories is a real show stopper. I love this, and I'm now going to do another beautiful jewel tone outfit for the evening for a fifth of the price. I have this dress that I found. It's just here. Now, already what I've done is I've played around with it slightly and I've taken the sleeves off. It had sleeves on, and all I've done is I've taken them off and I've put in some shoulder pads. Very, very simple. Let's slip this over. Now, I love this piece because it's not very often you get a hero piece on the high street where you get something for £23 with that amount of fabric and that amount of detailing work on the top of it. It is a rare, rare find. Dress on. I'm going to whack on a pair of heels. And I've gone for strappy ones to try and mimic the strappy work at the top of the dress. I'm going to take off this belt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a waspy waistband for this section. And all I've got is I've got this big pair of knickers. We all have these in our wardrobes, including me. And I'm literally going to cut off the waistband to make myself a little waspy to put on top of the dress. So let's pop this on first of all. Like wearing your underwear on top of your clothes. The new meaning of superhero. Lovely. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the sides up. So. If I split this up the sides, it's going to give it that look of a Chong Sum. So I'm not taking anything out of this dress at all, other than this thread that's been run up the sides to hold it together. Add a single strip of ribbon and get creative with your jewellery. I'm using this necklace to jazz up the belt. That's full-on evening glamour, and you can be confident you'll never see anyone else in this 50 quid gorgeous outfit. Three lovely ladies from Liverpool asked for my help. They've all lost weight, but they still wear clothes in the sizes they used to be. So I've trawled the high street for the perfect outfits to suit their new shapes, plus their pockets. And next up is size 12, Julia. It'd be amazing if I could find something that made me feel good. And mine is black stuff, really. Like, when we got to summer, I swapped over my winter wardrobe for my summer, which basically meant taking out me me winter black and putting me summer black in. What she wears doesn't reflect her personality. Julie is very bubbly. Yeah. I'm just boring. If it's not jeans or leggings, I don't own it, basically. I think Julia would look great in tighter clothes mm. where you can see her shape. Even sort of the, the fitted trousers yeah. and, and the sort of like nice small tops with like smaller cardigans. I've got loads of clothes. I've got two wardrobes full of clothes, but they're all the same. That's lovely. lovely, but I don't know what I'd wear it with. Jeans are always lovely. <laughs> okay, I'm with right. the jeans. So we like the jeans, do we? Yeah. Let's put the jeans over there, then. Do you know what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at your body, then, because I want to jump you straight in with this. OK? So, number one, a polka dot. Yeah. Massively fashionable. Mm -hmm. Number two, A-line but fitted. Doesn't look like legs. Never gets them out. No. Have you ever seen above her knee? I've never seen her in a skirt. No. Never. What, even in tights? No. 
<laughs> right, I'm here. The girls have just let me into a little secret. Nice. They told me you don't like your legs. No, I don't. I hate them. And so, with uh, skirt length, then, you'll always go below the knee. Or just sitting on the knee. Or just sitting on the knee. Yeah. And did you check this dress out when I handed it to you to see how long it was? Yeah. The first thing you did? And it's, I did think it's too short. You thought it was too short? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. What is wrong with your legs? They're just massive. Knee-high boots prove to Julia she can actually show off those gorgeous legs. A soft tie belt nips in her waist and really flatters her shape. I think she looks amazing, but what will Rachel and Michelle think? You look amazing. Honestly, Joe, your legs and the way you bloody do boot camp. <laughs> that's why you're, you're toned and you're tiny, you look gorgeous. Yeah. You, it does make your legs look very sexy. Really? Really. So this yeah. isn't a dress you would go for because it's too short? Yeah. Right. I like the... the I actually like the dress. I think it's... <laughs> there's something... There's a bed there, there's a silver lining... There's just there's not the enough. Cloud. <laughs> there's not enough. Just overall, you do look great. You've got a great little figure. Your body is, in this dress, in perfect proportion of hourglass, which is the most desirable shape out there. <laughs> now, we're going to go to the top that you do like. OK, and now we're going to go tonal, all right? And let's see what happens. Why don't you take those two and go and whack those on for me, gorgeous, all right? OK. How are you doing? Good. Do you like this one? Yeah. Can we try a skirt? I've got a longer skirt and I think this top is great, but I think the trousers make it feel a bit too grown up, so I wouldn't mind trying to get your legs out a little bit. OK. Come on then, gorgeous. Come, come on. Lovely girls, tell me, tell her. Absolutely amazing. Look stunning. It's classy, it's different. You it's look so confident. tailored, it's do I? Um, do. it's gorgeous. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, it's fun, it's sophisticated, it's got a bit of quirk about it as well because of the print on the top. This is sophistication personified, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. Uh, it feels amazing. <laughs> so my three Liverpool lattes look amazing, but wait until you see what I've got in store for the catwalk. Oh, fashion! In the battle of the 250 quid versus 50 pound looks, my third trend for the catwalk is polka dots. Go for clashing colours for a grown-up look. Add some sexy boots and retro accessories and you've got a fabulous look, all for under 250 quid. I think that this outfit is an absolute fashion triumph, but I am also going to prove to you guys that you can get this kind of look, this kind of quality, for around 50 quid. So I'm going to start off with quite a full skirt, I think. Uh, loads and loads of movements. It's very, very sweet. And I have to say, this is a complete bargain as far as I'm concerned because it's got loads of material and loads of movement. OK, let's just try that on to fit. I have to say, it's kind of one of those pieces which could work either way. Could look really Upper East Side and quite preppy or could look quite playful. So I think the top needs to be quite fun. Right. So I like this one. I think the colour works brilliantly. Well, I'm not too sure about the neckline, because so I think it's a little bit more grown up. So we'll put the buttons at the back and just put your arms through again. And I think because of the fullness of the skirt, we need to show some shoulders on it, so we need to square it off on the shoulders as well. Let's take it under the shoulders. That's better. So to complete the look then, I've got a pair of black pizza shoes. Whack those on, my darling. Lovely. And then just to tie in the join between that top, and the skirt, and also to introduce the black shoes, I've just got a thick wide belt. So £19.99 for the blouse, £20 for the skirt, £15 for the shoes, and a three quid wide elastic belt. A total of £57.99 pence for a complete look. That is a bargain. And once you've got your basics sorted, it's time to customise your look. Knee-high socks are a huge hit this season, and ladies, yes, you can wear socks with peep toes. And a couple of carefully placed bows complete my look. Now this is your chance to get really creative. 
I'm going to show you how you can do graffiti art on clothing using some spray paint from a local DIY shop and also a £2.50 t-shirt. Firstly, sketch out some of your ideas before you start, or better still, do a practice run on an old sheet. So what I want to do is I want to keep the urban feel about graffiti. So I'm going to do a brickwork all over the T-shirt. And then right in the centre, I'm going to put a huge love heart. So I only need two types of paint, so a black paint and a red paint. Mark out horizontal lines down the shirt. So as you can see, I'm not really measuring properly because I want to keep it as freehand as possible to give it that real kind of urban feel. Spray on the paint using cardboard to get a really sharp edge. Well, make sure that you do short bursts. Don't do long bursts. Otherwise, if you go wrong, you'll never be able to pick it up again. The key to customising is to experiment and little mistakes can often turn into killer design details. These little dots have come off this card, and that was totally by accident, but I quite like it. Spray on vertical lines to create the brickwork and then mark out your love heart. So the love heart is going to be about here because that's where your boobs are, so I kind of almost want them to be over the chest just there, so the heart is high enough. It's better if you start with a smaller shape and then you can start filling it in, going wider. It's exactly what a tattooist would do. They would start on the inside first and then they would build it up. And watch your masterpiece take shape. Van Gogh. And what's quite nice is you're starting to see now natural highlight coming through from the black underneath, which gives it a new dimension. Chop off the sleeves and add one last finishing touch. Sign my T-shirt. And there we have your very own graffiti print T-shirt. £2.50 and then two cans of spray paint and a lot of sweat. Ticking and I'm counting down to our fantastic Liverpool catwalk finale. My girls will be seeing their killer looks that I've chosen for them soon, but how are they getting on? <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Jelly legs. Yeah. Very nervous. A little bit of excitement, but a lot of nerves at the moment. Yeah. Just time for some last minute and much needed practice. <laughs> the first cash conscious fashion face off is almost ready to hit my Liverpool catwalk. I'm putting the finishing touches to my three looks, but there's one more trend I want to send down the runway. Harem, peg leg, crop, palazzo, wide leg, it doesn't matter. Trousers are one of the hottest pieces this season. And this is for you lot at home to play along. See if you can work out which is the look for less. These feel great and they feel really, really very expensive. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a belt to give me a moment between the top and the trousers. This natural nude colour is brilliant for making anything look quite expensive. And that is pretty much it. You don't need to over-accessorise. I absolutely love it. It's simple, it's elegant, it's well put together. But can you lot work out which one is the most expensive. I just came to say hello. The Liverpool crowds are pouring in and we're moments away from our local Latin catwalk debut. My hair and makeup team have worked their magic creating gorgeous glamour looks for our girls. With the transformations from frumpy to full on fabulous complete, how will they feel about their stunning new looks? Right then, girls, you ready to see each other? Yeah. One, two, three, come on, girls. Oh, oh my God. Don't talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get back again? <laughs> <laughs> you two look amazing, you really do. This classy, feminine turquoise dress cinches in Rachel's tiny waist and the heels add a touch of glamour. Michelle's gone from washed out blonde to beautiful brunette, and this bold red belt and statement black and white dress totally works her new look. This wide 
Midnight Turquoise Bell as a pop of colour and really sets off Judy's electric blue dress. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> right. Oh. You look stunning. OK. <laughs> they most certainly do. And with friends, family and Liverpool's finest out in force, it's showtime. Are you ready to see our girls? Are you going to give some Liverpool love for us, guys? Let's bring out the girls! She looked beautiful. Her hair's gorgeous. She just and she looked like she'd had an absolute ball. I've never seen her like that just before, ever like that. I thought she looked gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Her hair looks fantastic, her dress looks amazing. Big smile on the face, I'm happy enough. And she gets to keep the shoes as well. Amazing. I'm shaking like a little. Oh, I am shaking. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to do it again. <laughs> My girls have done me proud, but now it's time for the catwalk finale. The first ever budget face off is my 250 and 50 pound looks go head to head. Credit crunch time. The audience are now voting for the collection they like the best, but they have no idea which is the look for less. The collection you voted for is... Pink. Each outfit coming in at £50 each. But it just goes to show it doesn't matter how much money you got to spend when it comes to fashion. Everyone's a winner! Thank you so much for the ball!